Hello friends, I welcome you to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. Let's just go ahead and glorify him, give him all the praise, give him all the glory. He is a faithful and a dependable God. From east to west there is none like him. From north to south he has no comparison. From the rising of the sun to the going down, he is God all by himself. Lord, we bow before your majesty. We worship you, King of kings and Lord eternal. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are the general overseer of the entire universe. We worship you. We glorify you. We celebrate you. You are mighty in battle. You are mighty in your wisdom. We give you praise. The one who has set the earth upon the waters. And we say blessed be the name of the Lord. We welcome all the angels that have been assigned to work with us today. Lina Kalia Lord, we honor you. And we bless you everlasting Jehovah. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you to this new day and we want to let you know that we love you we worship you and blessed be the name of the lord in jesus much less name we worshiped amen this is spirit praise daily devotional and spirit praise daily devotional comes your way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network it comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for god all day and our topic for today says faith, an indispensable tool of the believer. So briefly this morning, we take our Bible reading from Hebrews 11 verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Friends, permit me to start by saying that faith is a necessity. It is a must for every believer in this season. It is an essential commodity in our work with God. And that's why it says that he that cometh must believe that he is. That is to say that God is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. In fact, one can say that faith is a mandatory requirement you need in order to please God. Why did I say so? Because you must believe that he is before you can come to him. So faith is the beginning or taking off point in our relationship with God. In fact, even our Lord Jesus Christ so much emphasized on faith when he was here on earth that he said to the woman with the issue of blood in Mark 5:35, thy faith had made thee whole. At other times, Jesus would say to the disciples like he did in Luke 17 verse 6, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto this sycamore tree, be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it should obey you. So the regular emphasis by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ about faith is to establish the fact that faith is an indispensable tool in the life of every child of God. So you need a daily dose of it in your daily activities and kingdom transactions. So friend, hear me. Our text says, he that believeth must believe. And the truth is that the belief is not the type of seeing is believing. Rather, believing before seeing, receiving before delivery. So is a compulsory element and God's desire is that faith should be the pattern of every child of God. Most often people wonder how can I please God? But from our text today, the antidote to pleasing God is faith because you must believe and you must trust him. In fact, the Bible went further to say in Romans 14, 23b, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So child of God, God wants you to believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him not just a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, but them that diligently and consciously seek him. Some people today come to God and they will say, let me see if it will work. If it doesn't work, I try other means. Listen to me, friends. Our God is a great and good rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's why he says in Isaiah 49 verse 19, I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. So there is a reward for everyone that seeks him and that seeks to please him. Hear me friends, faith is the key to our Christian life and without faith, your Christian life could be a major disaster. That's why it says the just shall live by faith. So never allow your faith to cease as that is the greatest asset you have as a believer. And more importantly, it is to your profit and gain to seek him because when you do, he rewards you 
as God doesn't owe any man. Apart from that, God also provides you an overdose grace to face life challenges without being destabilized. Never forget, he doesn't just reward anybody, but those that diligently seek him, as we have just read from our text. So your seeking must be diligently and not casually if you must qualify for his reward. Friends, as we pray, permit me to remind us that in pleasing God, our lives should not be influenced by our environment, but by faith. Because sometimes in pleasing God, you may displease some persons. But what you should always have at the back of your mind is this, that God is the ultimate. Of course, you know that when Jesus came, people fabricated all sorts of charges against him. He never bothered about pleasing man because his goal was to do the will of him that sent him and to finish his work. And I pray that that will be your goal in life in the matchless name of Jesus. Now look at Hebrews 11 verse 5b as we pray. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. The Bible is talking about Enoch. Friend, that was God's testimony concerning Enoch, that he pleased him. May that be God's testimony concerning you and concerning Joyobo Naya in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for someone on the line that you receive the capacity to draw closer to God by faith, by believing that God is real and that he exists and talk about him with the conviction of the knowing that you know, that you know, that you know that God is a rewarder. Let us pray. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And he that cometh must believe that God is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. <laughs> Receive capacity to seek him in the place of prayer as we assess the portals of the throne room this morning with the tongues of the angels. Since let's go. Receive capacity to seek him. Boost your faith in the place of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we give you all the glory and we give you all the praise. <laughs> we receive capacity. To seek you. Thank you, our Father. Not just to seek you, but to seek you diligently. Be thou exalted. And blessed be God for hearing our prayers. For we prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. And I decree and declare, Kalia Kagadaba Legede de Lagadash, to everyone who has listened to this broadcast, Ikanama Kalia Kagadaba Legede de Legede Lagadash, that heaven will baptize you with fresh capacity to be a diligent seeker. Maliande de Gedebo, seek Kalagadaba Legedesh. I say, heaven will baptize you, Line Kalagade de Mos Indra Kalagadabo Shanda, with fresh capacity to be a diligent seeker of God in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, our Father. And be thou exalted and be thou glorified. And blessed be God. For we prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a rewarding day ahead in partnership with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit.